We're now at the end of the first week of September 2015, so it's time for me to do another monthly update video in which I'll talk about what we did during August and what we've got coming up during September. Before I, I go into those sections in a bit more detail, I'd like to very quickly highlight three big things that I'm particularly interested in, and I think you will be as well. Um, the first of these is that September 12th starts my next class with the Global Center for Advanced Studies, a philosophical foundations class, a 12-week fully online class. You can take it from anywhere in the world that you've got access. And um, it's going to meet on Saturdays by video conferencing from 2 to 4 Eastern Standard Time. I'll tell you more about that in the September section. The September, the, the uh, second thing is, that I want to talk about is the Half Hour Hegel series. We've reached a really critical juncture. We're now in the middle of the self-consciousness section, which if you know your Hegel, you know that's where the most popular discussion topic of Hegel for the 20, 20th and 21st century, the master-slave dialectic, that's where that, that part occurs. So we will, in fact, be talking about the master-slave dialectic by the end of September, we're, we're getting ready for that. We're in the preparatory stuff and the beginning parts of self-consciousness. The third thing is I'm going to start shooting a new kind of video, uh, one that is focused on current events. I'm going to be doing this about once or twice a month, probably just once this month. And I'm going to look at things that are very, very much in the public eye, very timely, uh, controversial and bring a philosopher's perspective to those. I'll be drawing out a lot of other philosophers, not just myself, but um, philosophical perspectives to that. So um, watch for that video coming up later this month. And uh, now let's talk about what's going on in August. August was a very busy month. It's really becoming a refrain that, that each month is busy because there's, there's so many things going on. But it really was quite, quite a busy month. Uh, we had four events. Some of them were online and some of them were, as we say, on-site or face-to-face. Or -face. Um, one of them was the, the uh, eighth lecture in the Understanding Anger series, which has been hosted by the Kingston Public Library. We had a great discussion about the early Christian theologians and philosophers and their positions on anger. Of course, we couldn't cover everybody because there's an awful lot of thinkers, but we did manage to touch on uh, five of them, Tertullian, Lactantius, uh, John Damascene, uh, John Chrysostom, and Augustine. Uh, so that was a really great discussion, and you can see the link to it in the video description. Um, we also uh, had, uh, I got invited in to give another guest sermon at the U Unitarian Universalist Community of the Catskills, and I used Rainer Maria Rilke's conception of solitude, a little bit updated for the internet age, to talk about solitude, slowing down, and clearing space. Very well received. Uh, I didn't get video of it, but I did get an audio recording, and I also have the sermon transcript if you're interested in that, so that'll be linked below as well. I did the first public half-hour Hegel Q&A uh, session through a Google Hangout. I actually did it from a rest stop coming back up from, from the city to where we live currently in the Hudson Valley. Uh, and uh, that's a, when I say public, what I mean is my Patreon subscribers, one of the benefits that they have as, as um, supporters of, of the, the, the Hegel Project is that I've been having monthly Q&A hangouts for them where they could ask me anything that they liked about, about Hegel. But now once we reached a certain level of support for the videos, which, for which I'm very thankful, I said, as a public service, I'm going to start offering just anybody can come in and ask me questions about Hegel once a month. So we did the first of those uh, great conversations covering Hegel's uh, phenomenology, getting a little bit into Heidegger, a little bit into some other people as well. And then uh, I guess it's really been quite a Hegel uh, event uh, uh, month because the other thing that we had was the Global Center for Advanced Studies summer phenomen summer. Uh, of the Hegel Phenomenology Reading Group. I forget exactly how they phrased it, but uh, they have a very clever way of putting it. In any case, they were doing a online reading group going through Hegel's Phenomenology. They asked me to give another guest lecture. 
so I came in and talked about the religion section, but only the first two portions of it, not the third part, which is revealed religion. We talked about nature religion and religion and works of art and, and uh, very interesting stuff. So that was uh, events, uh, video production. We got quite a bit done during the month of August. Uh, if you've been following the channel, you, you've seen these getting released. Um, several half hour Hegel videos. We finished up with Force and the Understanding, which meant we finished with the consciousness section and we launched into the self-consciousness section. I released uh, uh, one and three, so four videos total of those uh, this last month. Um, over in my critical thinking and uh, logic and argumentation channel, we did some more fallacy videos. I, I still have some more to do with those, but, but we got a few of those out. Uh, but where I was really concentrating on was uh, core concept videos dealing with Plato's Symposium because I was teaching that Global Center for Advanced Studies class. So that is probably a good segue into talking about the Symposium class that just finished up uh, about a week ago. We did a four-week entirely online um, five-session course in the Global Center for Advanced Studies at sort of the end of the summer session, kickoff of the new fall session, and I decided I was going to teach on Plato's Symposium, which is a text that I really enjoy. We had nine students sign up, and we had a lot of really great discussions. Um, I provided them with a ton of handouts and lessons and links, and I, I also decided to shoot a series of 20 core concept videos for them, uh, many of which I've, I've released, uh, some of which I still have to release. Uh, so great experience all around. Um, what else went on during August? I was working on some academic writing, um, continuing to polish up the Anselm paper that I gave at the very end of July in, in Boston, um, continuing work on my, my Marcel projects, um, getting one paper ready for the the Marcel Society meeting coming up in October, um, polishing up the other paper on Marcel and Christian philosophy. And then I've been working on a paper on, on Etienne Gilson's conception of Christian philosophy and uh, Søren Kierkegaard's philosophical fragments and how they, they fit together. Again, for another conference uh, session that's coming up in October. So uh, I also did some, some consulting work here and there, a bit of philosophical counseling. Um, I've been working on the blogs, trying to tidy them up a bit, you know, tighten up the structure, um, add a lot more resources in there. And I did manage to get some blogging done during August, which was one of my main goals. Uh, I did a little bit of writing in Arexis Dianoetike, my main blog, the one that I started five years ago back at Fayetteville State University. I wrote a bit for Heavy Metal Philosopher, which is my uh, complete side project, my indulgence blog. Uh, and then I, I wrote quite a bit in the Half Hour Hegel blog, um, you know, trying to, you know, publicize what was going on. There's been a lot of cool developments. The other thing I should mention, too, that happened in August with respect to the Half Hour Hegel series um, that I didn't write down on this, this sort of spreadsheet of all the things going on, was Open Culture featured the Half Hour Hegel series in, in their, their website, which is really great because it gets us uh, some, some more attention. It brings in people who might benefit from reading the, you know, the, the, the text and, and doing so along with the videos. Um, so a great thing all around. That was the month of August. What's coming up in September? We don't have quite as many events, and actually one of the events is, is past. If I had been doing this video on the first like I intended to, I'd be talking about it as a future event. Now I'm going to tell you about it as a past event. I went on to um, Theology Matters, which is an internet radio show, uh, on the 3rd, uh, which was uh, Thursday, and uh, talked a bit about my, my uh, 2011 book, which I happen to have sitting here, Reason Fulfilled by Revelation, the 1930s Christian Philosophy Debates in France, quite a mouthful. Uh, fortunately, it does fit on, on a book cover quite easily. And so I talked a bit about the debates and about, you know, you know what the issues were and the notion of Christian philosophy. Uh, it's a call-in show, so we did have a, a one call-in who wanted to ask me about some of the, 
the topics that I was talking about and about Garagou Lagrange. And, and so we got off onto quite a few tangents, uh, but it was a good show. Um, September 12th at 1030, if you're up here in the Kingston area, we have the final lecture in the Understanding Anger series, the ninth lecture. And this one is focused directly on Thomas Aquinas and his views on anger, how he's synthesizing many of the people that we've covered so far, these ancient Christian authors, all these philosophers, and bringing them together in, in one you know, sort of synthetic perspective on the emotion of anger. He actually has quite a bit of, of useful stuff to tell us about it. So again, September 12th, um, 10.30 a.m. at the Kingston Public Library, if you happen to be in the area. September 23rd, uh, whether you're, you're in the area or not, we have an online half-hour Hegel Q&A session at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That'll be through a Google Hangout. I'll post the link on my Facebook and on my uh, Google Plus page. Uh, probably put it in Twitter as well. That is public. That's available to anybody, whether they are supporters of the Half Hour Hegel Project or not. So if you have any questions about, about uh, Hegel, his thought, his works, his influence, um, you know, even, even you say, well, who is this Hegel guy? You can come in and I'll answer your questions. Um, I may answer them at, at quite a bit of length. Uh, which tends to be the case with dealing with Hegel things, but um, I, I can promise you I'll certainly try to address them. Um, th that's all we've got for as far as events going on in, in September, but that's already quite a bit given the other things that are happening in September. Video production. Here's what I, what I intend to get done. Um, I want to get six videos for the Half Hour Hegel series done. I've already released two of them so far for this month. Um, I'm going to be shooting a lot of footage this month for Half Hour Hegel as, as we get ready for the move, which I'll talk about a bit more in a minute. But with the Half Hour Hegel series, what's really cool about this is we are now on the cusp of moving into the famous master-slave dialectic, which is probably the, the portion of Hegel that most people tend to focus on, or at least have in the last century. So we will be knee-deep in that by the, by the end of the month. I'm going to release some more critical thinking videos, uh, still focused on the fallacies. Um, those of you who've been writing, you know, uh, comments on them, thanks for doing that. I'm always happy to see what you make of them. I've got a number of Plato Symposium videos that I originally shot for that, that symposium class that finished up uh, August uh, what, 31st or something. Um, those I'm going to be continually releasing uh, probably two or three a week because I want to get those out into general circulation uh, as soon as possible so I can start shooting some other uh, core concept videos as well. And like I said, I'm going to try something new this month, which is shooting one current event video. So I'm going to pick one current event. Uh, I think it might be a little bit late for, for trying to talk about the Ashley Madison uh, uh, data release thing and all the things that that says about desire and you know two wrongs making a right and all the interesting things along those lines but I'm pretty sure that something else will happen this month that is newsworthy and could be illuminated by philosophy so I'll, I'll you know be thinking about that and keeping an eye out for that um, if you see something that you think particularly catches your eye, um, send it my way, and I will I will consider shooting a video on that. Um, I'm back to to a lot of teaching. Uh, all of my teaching is online, but online teaching requires quite a bit. You get to to do it from home, but you also have to build all the content and do all the grading as you normally would. For Marist classes, I don't have to meet with students in, in sessions, although I do answer a lot of messages back and forth and follow their forums. But for the Global Center for Advanced Studies, every single week we have a two-hour video conference session where I've prepared slides and I lead students in discussion of the issues or texts or topics that we're, we're covering. Um, that's, you know, essentially like a class, uh, you know, seminar. So I've got two Marist Worldviews and Values classes that open up tomorrow. Uh, they begin tomorrow officially. I've got all of that material built, loaded. There were a few glitches because 
They um, updated their Sakai interface, which meant that a few things dropped out here and there and had to be put back in. But I think, God willing, everything is, is online and ready to be taken care of. I may develop a few more handouts for them. Um, you know, every semester I try to add some more resources for the students to put a bit more value into the classes. The Global Center for Advanced Studies, uh, like I said before, uh, the class that I'm teaching with them this fall semester is a 12-week, three-credit, entirely online philosophical foundations class. If you're interested in this class, and I'll put some information, you know, about, about you know, I'll put some links to more information below. Um, it is a class in which we are going to be reading a lot of selections by classic and contemporary philosophers grappling with um, some of the major issues in some of the major fields of philosophy. So we're actually going to look at, you know, let's say, for example, metaphysics. We'll talk about the, you know, issue of, of freedom versus determinism. Or in ethics, we'll talk about, you know, what is, what is the nature of the good? or, you know, rights versus duties, or things like that. Um, and, and for each subject area like that, I will have three reading selections, all of which, by the way, are available as PDFs free to students, so you don't have to buy a textbook. Um, and we'll look at each one of them, sort of compare and contrast. That's what we do in our class sessions. And that's a great way, I think, for students to get introduced to the discipline. You read some Descartes, you read some Plato, you read some Spinoza, you read some Hume, you know, you read a whole bunch of people and get to talk with somebody who you can tell is very passionate and interested in philosophy and get to, you know, meet fellow students online and interact with them. Great way to, to get your, your feet wet in philosophy or if you want a refresher course to, to do well with that. You can take it for credit or you can also audit the class, which means then you don't have to do the homework and you don't have to take the tests, um, but you, you know, you, you also don't get credit for it, but it's a lot of fun. Um, so that's what I've got as far as teaching going on. Academic writing, um, I've already mentioned the projects that I was working on during August, none of which have been brought to fruition yet. They all, you know, academic writing takes quite a while, um, you know, just to sort of peel back the, the veil a bit. I'm still working on all those papers and, and I, I'm also working on something else. I need to get a prospectus ready. Um, I had a publisher who was interested in my writing a book on anger for them. And I, I said, yeah, that sounds great. I, I committed to do that. Um, so I need to actually provide them with a prospectus pretty soon that says, here's what chapter one is going to be about. Here's chapter two. Here's, you know, when you write these sort of things, I don't want to go into too great detail, but there's, there's a lot of stuff that goes in. You have to say, who else is doing similar work? And will this sell? And why will it sell? So I got to do a bit of um, taking everything that I've got up here and putting it down on, on paper for that. I'm going to be doing a lot more blogging over the course of this month. I've already written a bit in um, uh, the Half Hour Hegel um, and in Erexus de Noetice. My goal is actually to write something in every one of my five blogs this month. So that's Erexus de Noetice, Half Hour Hegel, Heavy Metal Philosopher, and then the two that have been just sitting there not really doing much for quite a while, uh, Sadler's Existentialism Updates, focused on existentialism, Virtue Ethics Digest, focused particularly on virtue ethics, but also on ethics more broadly. So I need to, um, I need to start, you know, doing a bit more disciplined work with those. And um, the other big thing, of course, the, you know, might say the elephant in the room, is that we are getting ready for a move from here in the Hudson Valley um, to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which is where we are re relocating to. Um, both my, my wife and I are originally from the area. We're really looking forward to getting back there and getting to spend a lot more time with our families, with old friends. Um, you know, we love the, the New York Hudson Valley area. It's been, been great to, to be here. It's been great to go down to the city and all the other cities around, but there, you know, there's also no place like home as well. So everything that I'm doing here, I'm going to be doing there as well. The philosophical counseling, the speaking, the YouTube production, like you're seeing right here, the writing, um, teaching classes, all of that's going to stay the same, but I'm going to be in a different area, or we're going to be in a different area, and um, a lot of cool stuff going on. 
Right now, what that means is a lot of packing, a lot of boxes, and a lot of, you know, moving things from, from place to place and getting them ready in sort of a staging area. So that's, you know, that, that takes surprisingly more time than, than you would think that it does. Um, but that's what's going on. The last thing that I'll say is... Um, if you're looking for somebody uh, for, for a public talk, um, if you think you might benefit from tutoring or philosophical counseling, uh, you want to get in touch with me, the best way to do so is greg at reason.io. You can also visit our reason.io.com website where you'll find all the different sort of services that, that we offer through reason.io. It's a company whose motto is philosophy into practice. That's what I do. That's what my focus on this entire project with the, the YouTube channel is part of that. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, get in contact with me. Otherwise, uh, have a great month. Enjoy the videos. And if you can make it to any of these events, show up. And uh, we'll have a great time.